Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's Web Whiz video number 7 where once again I take you on a very quick journey through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now something quite specific this week but it's a website that I'm a big big fan of and I think it's got massive potential in the classroom. So what's the name of it? Well it's called Cleave Books and the one I'm after is Cleave Books Calculator. So give that a little click and there's the website and we're there. Now, this isn't your standard calculators, none of your scientific stuff going on here. As you can see from the home page, you've got calculators for measuring 2D shapes, 3D shapes, general arithmetic, and all sorts. So let's have a quick look here. Now, if I click on rectangles, I'll be honest with you, the page isn't the most inspiring you've ever seen. However, the maths behind it is. So as it tells you there, you can type in information into any of those two boxes and the computer will calculate the rest. So for example, if the first edge of my rectangle is 10 and the second edge is 4, I can then challenge the students to work out what the perimeter is, the area, and if they've done the Pythagoras, can they also get the diagonal? And when we're ready, we click calculate and the computer does it for us. Again, nothing mind-blowing, but of course we can mix this up the other way around. I can say to the students, okay, if the perimeter of my rectangle is 24 centimetres and one of my edges is 5 centimetres, can you fill in all the other gaps? And that's when we start taking this to a higher level. So not bad there with the old rectangle one. But then, of course, there's all other stuff going on here. If I click on triangles, then this time you can choose any three boxes to fill in information on sides um, or angles. Now this could be for your GCSE students if they've done sine and cosine rule and all that kind of stuff, so 25 degrees, and it'll calculate everything else, perimeter, area, and even do you a bit of the in radius of the triangle. So again, potential there in the classroom to challenge the students to say why is only three pieces of information necessary, what three pieces of information would work for calculating everything else, and then set the students a few problems. So that's all your 2D stuff. You've also got 3D stuff going on here where we can do a similar thing but with cuboids. If we give the computer three pieces of information, so I'm just making up 34 for one edge, 40 for another, and a surface area of 360. Is that going to work? Calculate it. Given conditions are impossible, that brings into another twist. Why is that impossible? Of course, that was one of my deliberate mistakes there. And again, you can work out if they've done 3D Pythagoras, then the diagonal and all that kind of stuff. But there's more, because if I come down here, you also get, and this one caught my eye, the cost of living index. Now, it's a little bit out of date, but it's still pretty good. If you uh, say you had 100 quid in 2004, what would that be worth in past years? Now, that's interesting as it stands, but I was thinking something like you could give the students that information, get them to jot a few things down about it, and then say, okay, using that, now if you had £100 in 1945, what would it be worth in 2004? And we can then take the learning to a new level. So I was quite a big fan of that. Um, as I said, there's all sorts going on here. The final one that caught my eye was this units of alcohol one. Um, and if I go for units of alcohol in the UK, this is quite interesting. So, of course, hopefully none of your students will be familiar with percentages of alcohol. But say you're drinking a pint of beer that's 4% alcohol and you want a pint of it. So what's that? 568 millilitres. Then how many units of alcohol does that contain? Just over two units. So again, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. There's things for uh, rates of decay. There's your classic loan repayments. That's quite a good one that's worth looking at. So I'm going to borrow £200, I'm going to borrow, uh, I've got to pay 5% interest and I'm going to do that um, over 20 years or something. Well then I'm actually going to end up paying back 320 and that's quite good to compare to those amazing Wonga websites and all that where it's like a 7,000% interest. So that's quite interesting. And the final thing on this website, oh sorry I've gone too far before I shut up, is at the bottom, if that wasn't good enough, they've also got this set of calculator exercises. Now I've downloaded this and it's completely free. And what this is, it's a 22 page booklet with loads of worksheets um, that kind of, encourage the students to use the calculators and investigate and I just like it because in maths the kind of main skill isn't the calculation it's the discovery that goes with it and students don't have to tap a load of different things in here they can just select something and just try different things out and experiment and that's where the kind of discovery and the fun and the beauty of maths comes in so I'm a big big fan of this website if you've used it please hop onto the TES page and share your comments and thoughts and I will be back with a fresh WebWiz video next week. Bye for now.